Okay, so let's take a look at question three, where we are given the image of a CD disc and we're told the scale factor is three. So if we write that down, scale is equal to three. Okay, we can, that implies that it's actually three over one. So that means um, for every three units of uh, one object, it, we're going to draw a corresponding other object, one unit in size. Okay, so if we look at our diagram here, it looks like they're telling us that the, the CD or the object that we're supposed to draw compared to the CD given here is supposed to be larger um, given by the two rays that are going out. So that means if we looked at the diameter of this CD, okay, and we said that this had a, uh, a, a diameter of one unit of length, our corresponding CD should have a unit three times that length. Okay, so that means that the CD would be bigger by a factor of three. So we could just simply draw another circular object here and just mark in the radius. Okay, and then we can just say that this is one unit. Okay, and this is going to be three units. Okay, because that's what our scale is. It's three large units compared to a single small unit. Um, so this isn't a uh, too, too terribly a difficult question. You just have to look at what the scale factor is referring to and kind of what they're implying. Um, it looks like that we we're supposed to be drawing a larger object and the scale is three to one. So that means we can say it's three units larger for every one unit smaller.